going on is that my birthday is February 10th, and my boyfriend just won two free tickets to Vegas for the Super Bowl, okay, which is essentially on my birthday, Mm -hmm. and he's abandoning me and taking his best friend in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me explain. I'm not abandoning her. We can do something before or after. I've told her that so many times. Okay. So many times. Okay, but, but. But listen, Derek, you could take me, and you're you're choosing to not take me, leave me all yeah. alone not... on my birthday. Wait, Derek, who are you taking with you? bring someone else. I'm taking my best friend. I'm taking my best friend, Brad. We've known each oh. other for years. We watch the game every Sunday. I can't not take him. So he's a big football fan. Are you a football fan, Megan? Well, I'm not necessarily a fan of football, but I'm a fan <laughs> of Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Listen. Also, Taylor Swift is probably going to be there. Usher <laughs> perform. I'll take you to Vegas. Usher, I'll take yeah. you to Vegas. I'll take you to Usher. I'll take you to Taylor Swift, but not right now. This no. Is not go to this, this is like... Look, fellas, here's the reality, bro. Women don't want you to have fun without them. If you're going to do something with your guys and you don't include her, she's going to have an issue with that. Women are like kids, bro. I'm telling you all this. This is real. A woman will compete with your purpose. A woman will compete with anybody or anything for your time. Is you shouldn't have time to have fun on your own. You could take your girl out for six months straight every single day. But the next day, if you decide to do something for you, just you, or just you and the guys, just... But just you, this is just you trying to do you right now without her. Like you trying to breathe. The six months that you took her out every day, that shit will be in vain. I promise you that, bro. It never fails, bro. And that shit amazes me. For example, right? Let's say like if you want to do something like with your guys, right? So you say, okay, I'm going to take her out and do everything with her before that. When the day come to hang with your guy, she's gonna be angry at you. And it just goes to show, fam, they don't want to see you have fun without them, bro. So fellas, as a man, keep that in mind, bro. That's why me personally, fam, I'm big on my own space. Like any chick that I date or be with, she understand that, yo, the weekends, that's for Q and his guys. The weekdays, That's for me. Because as a man, you gotta have time to have fun with your bros, bro. Don't forget about the bros when you decide to save a woman. Don't lose that, fam. Because the worst thing you could do, (laughs) the worst thing you could do, fam, is cut your guys off and give a woman all of your attention. Because that is what they be trying to do with men. They want you to cut everything off outside of them. It's like a woman will even tell you, oh, baby, you've been working hard. Just come here and lay with me. Come lay down. She will tell you to take time off your grind to come lay up with her. That's how crazy it is. The same money that the grind gives you in order for you to take her on dates, in order for you to buy her gifts, in order for you to make her happy, she will tell you, yo, take, take, take some time off. Maybe you, maybe like you've been working too hard. Don't you get days off? Fellas, that's how backwards women are, bro. Women are extremely selfish. It's all about them. They don't think logically. And as a man, you have to keep that in mind, bro. But this right here is crazy. I want something real. I don't want this fake, like, oh, all the time we happy is when we post pictures. Yeah, all yeah. the time we happy is when people are Coming and on mm-hmm. out, they like when what? the cameras off, y'all mad at each other. If you do, you gotta do it, and they gotta understand mm-hmm. this shit real. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have two ladies mm-hmm. left. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and ask them a question. Okay. Cool. Cool. And cool. then we're gonna go ahead and see what you're feeling from there. Right. Um, so if your friends or your family were to describe you, what three words would they use? Independent. Okay. Courageous. And amazing. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> if your family or friends were to describe you, what three words would they use? Oh my gosh, she is like a whole breath of fresh air. Okay, I dig that. <laughs> I'm playing. No, seriously, I'm not. <laughs> Seriously, the, a whole breath of, breath of fresh air. Okay. Like, she's so warm and welcoming. Like, she fucking cooks everything, get togethers at the house. Like, I'm I'm just that person, and it's me naturally. Like, okay. I, fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. No, nah, we supposed to. You, I want you to be real. <laughs> and now, what about for you? How would your family or friends describe you with three words? Independent is a good one. Mm -hmm. um, charismatic, um, entertaining. Entertaining. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, for our two ladies left, mm -hmm. based off of those answers, did you want to add on to it, or I did do you do have want a to question? Talk? Go for it. Are you better at cooking or cleaning? Both. Right. I'm I had to ask. You'd be surprised. You would be. You would be surprised. You'd be surprised. Okay. So both. Yeah. If you if you had to pick one. If you if you had to pick one, um, I would say cleaning. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm a clean person for okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Ashley. I would say cooking because okay. sometimes shit does get real. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shit does get real sometimes. Sometimes you just do not feel like putting that laundry up so it will sit on the couch for about yeah. a couple of days. <laughs> or on the no, other I side of your you. bed. No, I did you. No, yeah. So no. Sometimes for that sure. Just kick it over and go to sleep. On the other side of the bed a couple mm -hmm. of days, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, yeah, I love to cook. Like, that's my jam. Like, I love to cook, drink wine, vibe out to some music. That's like... That's fun to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, Ja, you we ready to make your decision? Oh, she popped. Damn. What's going on? Why do we end up popping? Yeah. I pop just because I don't feel the vibe is there. Mm. Yeah. Damn, okay. I'm vibeless. That's the verdict. What's going on? Did you feel it earlier? Or like, what happened? Throughout time, when he was asking the questions, yeah, okay. I just, mm-mm. It's not there for yeah, you. Yeah, no. Damn. Okay. All right. Well, oh. if we can have Miss Ashley come on out here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let me have you stand okay, over here, you. though. Okay, my bad, my bad. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so Ashley, did you have any questions to determine if this is someone you do want to proceed with? Yes, I do. Do you want children? Yes. I'm not having no baby. I know, I know, I'm so I know, done. I know, I know. Done, done. When I heard the answers, I was like, damn, I ain't got a shot but in here. But you cool as, you Yo, for cool. sure. No, 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 y'all are all very I'm cool people. I'm so trying so hard not to curse. <laughs> but you are so cool. Yeah. You are like so dope. You are very you. attractive. You are well put together, all Thank that. You. But I have paid my debt to society, and I'm not, not having society. any more children. All right, <laughs> I, I hear it. I hear oh, it man. Sure. All right, well, John, unfortunately, like that. that's all the balloons that popped. That was my shot at love. Thank you so much for coming on, but you uh, are going to go home. No, we can definitely go for sure. For sure. <laughs> all right, and ladies. Fact, let's, the night is young. Okay, yeah. all right, then. Let's give it up for him, though, ladies. Thank you for coming on Thank out. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> you could go for him. <laughs> Yo, this right here is crazy to me because you gotta wonder, how was it before the ring? Fellas, understand something, bro. Whenever you see a chick making a video like this, that's a red flag, right? Because she's saying she's only nice to him after she got what she wanted. So it's all about her. So just understand this type of treatment is temporary. It's gonna wear off in a few days. Because one thing about women is this, fellas. After you give them what they want, they're probably gonna enjoy it for like two, three days, and then they're gonna want something new. And if you don't provide them that something new, 
I promise you, she's going to re revert back to her old bitchy attitude. Facts. That's how it goes, bro. That's why you have to observe a woman before you choose to marry her. She got to show you who she is before you put a ring on it. You don't put a ring on it, then all of a sudden she's nice to you. Dog, that shit is fake. That's not real. And anytime you see a woman doing stuff like this, bro, just understand that's a fake woman, dog. I'm just keeping it real. A real woman will be that way from the jump. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you give her, it's going to be you showing appreciation. But you're not giving us something and then all of a sudden, well, since I got this, I'll be nice to you now. That's the mindset of a kid, bro. You know, with kids, right? If you buy a kid a gift that they always wanted, they will be happy for a little while. Then they're going to want something new. And then they're going to forget about the gift that you got them. Facts. So understand something, fellas. You don't get a hype off shit like this. Shit like this is not real okay she's gonna revert back to who she is as soon as she realized she realized that oh i finally got a ring this is what i always wanted now what else do i want and once she get to that mindset she's gonna go back to her old ways i'm just keeping it real fellas